the thriving city of Waterpool. Look at this airplane. I'm in love with my own airport. Don't tell me wife, <laughs> she's gonna be really sad and upset, I guess. But I think that this looks absolutely incredible. Look at it go. Oh my, oh my, any who's any house. Welcome back everybody. I'm Keralis and as always, I'm gonna be your captain for this episode. So just sit back, relax and enjoy. Look at this. I can spend hours watching this. I have no friends, I have no life. I'm just kidding, no, yes, I don't know. You know what, just deal with it. I kind of think this looks really cool. So, in the previous episode, I kind of showed you guys this fencing, which is called the racetrack fence, right? And I kind of thought like, I would place it all the way around the, look at it go, all the way around the airport. The problem this gives us, this is a park, right? So, it gave us like billions of seagulls, but then you guys were like, Hey Kiralis, there's a mod which removes all the seagulls. So I was like, oh ho! I grabbed the mod and I've placed it where I could. There's a little bit of gaps here and there. <laughs> I kind of placed some bush in the gaps. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of security breaches, but it is what it is. I think this kind of adds a lot to the ambiance. So you guys will have to let me know. If you want to grab it, it is called Racetrack Fence 101. So just check the Steam Workshop. And you know what? Stop, pause, collaborate and listen. Do we get any airplanes coming in for a landing? You going where? Perfect! Let's check out how our landing looks like in... Crapper, where is you? There you go. In the International Airport of Waterpool. It's a little bit of flashy. Oh, whoa, whoa. there we go. He's coming in. Oh, crosswinds. He got it. Captain, we have a touchdown. I also asked you guys for a name suggestion for this district. Check the comments yesterday and there was one comment which had tons of likes on, okay? Check the comments today. That comment was nowhere to be found. I do remember the name that the person suggested, but I don't remember the person suggesting it. So I'm truly sorry, so I can't really give any credit, but the name was District 9. District... Hey! District... District 9. District... Perfect! Based on the movie from... Cape Town, South Africa, right? But although that movie is kind of like based on apartheid and I don't support apartheid. Is this a bad name? I don't know. If it is, we're going to change it later on, right? So don't worry about that. But I asked you what you want to see in this episode. And the most common answer was Kerala's reach 100,000 citizens. So I was like, oh boy. Let's grind it away. So in this episode, we're gonna try to reach 100,000k citizens. And in the next episode, we're gonna do some detail work in. But first, no, no selfies. I did grab some new stuff of the Steam Workshop, which I kinda really wanna show you guys. The first thing is this, embrace yourselves. It is called Tetsu no Kizurakan. Hi! I don't know what language that is. I might be Japanese. I think it's Japanese, but I don't know. I'm gonna pop it down here. This is a submarine museum and it's purdy. It is absolutely humongous, this little submarine. Humongous and little at the same time, GG's. I like this and this kind of makes me want to have the harbor connection. Where is it? Here. Question is, let me just see, maybe they've tweaked something? No, no, no. Crapper, did they just pick a map, the only map without a harbor connection? This sucks. If anybody knows how to add one uh, to an existing map without demolishing the whole city, please let me know. Because, I mean, that would be one amazing detail episode, building a harbor. But no, no can do. No way, Jose. You go away now. You don't fit the theme. Hey, don't be sad faces. Hi. I had to make a little cut in the video. So my son woke up in the middle of the night with a cough and a fever. So I've been spending my night taking care of him. Just family things, you know. So what am I trying to say? <laughs> Don't get babies! No, just kidding. Get babies, but wait until you're super ready for them because it's tons of work. But it's gonna be the most amazing thing which happens in your lifetime, I guess. So, anywho's anyhow, before the cat, I did show you guys this. 
Tetsu no Kizurakan. Hi, <laughs> which is the submarine museum. And one more thing which I grabbed is this, which is brand new on the Steam Workshop, Marina Bay Resort, inspired by Marina Barrage or Barage in Singapore. Can we pop it down here about behind? Oh, it comes with a road and everything. Let's pop it down here behind the aquarium somehow. There we go. Oh, this looks pretty. It's gonna be for the rich and famous, although they kind of need poopy pipes. So let's get some poopy pipes out to this guy. Bam and bam. Damn, this is super nice. And there's also like a little pier, which is just brand new on the Steam Workshop. And uh, like a, some type of boardwalk, but I haven't really checked them out yet. So that is something which we need to do in the future. So boom, 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 boom. Perfect. And you know what? One thing which I kind of want to ask you guys is this. Like since episode 2, I've been kind of running this series as like a semi-modded series, right? And I know some people just love vanilla gameplay of games. Does this take away from the whole experience? You watching the series? Or does it just add to the experience? So just let me know. Little bushes here. No, no, no squeeze. There we go. Uh oh, oh no. Let me just get some terraforming done. Let's bring this guy down so we get some water on this bad boy. Otherwise it's gonna suck. Here and here. Perfect. Oh no. Or is it bouncing back? <laughs> Look at this little wave down here below. It's just... This pillar is just holding it up or something. Okay, that water is coming in. It's meeting up with that water. Water reception. Okay, so it's working. So I'm going to keep it for now here. We're going to add a boardwalk and whatnot in the future, but I think we're going to do it some bouts here on the coastline. Or you know what? We're going to see. But any who's any house, I did grab new things as well. What's on fire? Oh no, a building has burned down. There's something about this district. Or is there a lot of traffic? Don't get me wrong. But the fire thing is they don't make it to, in time and this is really weird because as you can see there's a firehouse just opposite of this uh, this guy who just burned down which <laughs> i really don't understand and it's only two engines used out of six well it doesn't really matter because they kind of build up super fast anywho's but I, I can't just get my head around around this but i did grab something else which i'm gonna place about here so Stop, pause, collaborate, and listen. I did grab a train station called the Mojoko train station. Hi! Located in Kitaguzuzo City, Japan. <laughs> I'm sorry. But we're on a kind of like a Japanese theme today. So, so let's see. If I delete this guy, will we still maintain the, the, the line going here? I pop you down, and how does you look? Oh, it looks beautiful. Damn, this is a really nice model. Look how, how the roof is shiny. And this is gonna be really cool as well because this is kind of situated at the airport. So we gotta need some roof in here, right? I just love the reflections of what? Look at that. It's like a humongous city somehow bounce here, but I can't really see it. Well, it's a little bit skyscrapers here, I guess, but hey, <laughs> the reflection is kind of like misleading. <laughs> but I do like it. So let's just resume this again and see. I don't think the trains will stop at this current point here. Because those guys here which are coming in, right? I think they are pre-programmed. And I did grab some extra train stations. Let me just show you guys. Let me just pop them down hereabouts. So this, this was the Mojoko train station. Then I grabbed uh, a train station with walkway. So I guess I can pop it down here just to show you. So this is kind of like the default one, but just has this walkway about. So it's kind of cool for those guys who kind of want to use that model. I did grab another one, which is called the Suburban Train Station. And this is kind of like a little modern one. Although with those gravel paths and whatnot. And this looks super awesome. This would maybe be a better fit here in this region, but you know what? No. Let's just not keep it. Let's delete that and let's keep the Mojoko train station here. You will have to let me know if you like it or not. But I think that the, the model itself is absolutely glorious. What does you say? Mojoko station from the Japanese city. And I'm sorry, I have a hard time. I don't watch manga, so I can't really pronounce anything in, in Japanese. Tamagotchi. Yoshi. <laughs> That's about it. I love it. So let's keep it. You know what? Also, as thinking, as we are here, 
before we do any any expansion when it comes to citizens let's see if we can do something with the paths here let's delete you let's extend you now to about here no wrong row type to about here for example so they will have still have access to the control tower because this is a tourist attraction it seems and now can we take this path here going all the way across here i'm sorry this might be really derp but you know what <laughs> it is what this no i'm just kidding i think Ooh, there's gonna be a tight head squeeze here i guess let me just see are you managing to <laughs> walk below this <laughs> they are <gasps> oh this is amazing but at least we got a little path going here, so let's just connect that up as well. So now they can go all the way from the from the train station all the way here to this terminal without any biggie. They would maybe also need one going. Let me sh let me just see. If I do a bendy one, going to here, then turning down like this, for example. Maybe not the best solution, but we got some paths, and that is the kind of like the important thing. Perfect. So let's keep that. And what comes to expansion today? You know what? I'm not really sure where we're going to expand. Those guys are still moving in. This guy is burning. We got the fire department in route, so don't worry about that. It's beautiful. Well, not the burning process, but it's kind of beautiful. Anywho, I'm kind of thinking, let's do something about here. And a lot of you guys, being like Keralas, don't place those suburbs. Just place skyscrapers all over the place. And that is not how I want to have my city. I want to have it pretty with suburbs and the main city here and whatnot, so that is what I'm gonna do. But, stop, pause, collaborate and listen. What we could do here is this. We could remove those roads here, place a roundabout, and here on the motorway or highway, we could use maybe this, for example, this creation. Because then we got the paths. Yeah. You know what? Let me just do this off camera because I don't want to bore you guys to death. So let me just get those roundabouts in and also those guys in and then we're going to resume and build some roads and be super happy about it. So be right back with you guys. Don't go anywhere. And for those here, I'm going to be using <laughs> the very best roundabout. I mean, this can't fail. This is really tricky to get in. Well, not maybe not this one because it's perfectly shaped for this, but... I'm not really sure what's the difference between this roundabout and the one we've used about here. They almost look the same, but this doesn't work out whatsoever, so hopefully this, <laughs> the very best roundabout, it can't fail, right? I mean, just the name. But I don't really know the big difference of it. It's got those sound barriers, but overall it does look the same. Maybe it's a little titty bit bigger. <laughs> How are you gonna get out, buddy? <laughs> oh, that's gonna suck, pick up a dead person. Well, that's not gonna happen today. And you, buddy, where are you going? The scooter, Mary. Mary, you you're kind of trapped in here. So, this is what I'm going to be using, those very best roundabouts, and hopefully this is going to... I don't think it's going to look like super purdy though, but uh, but I think it's going to be very efficient for the for the whole city. And I know some people are like, yeah, why do you use those six, six lane roads? And I'm like, yeah, what did I do? What, what, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, I like them. I do like them, and I think it's going to cause like less traffic in the future in the city. You, perfect. So that's the very best roundabout, and what comes for the next next part, I'm just going to be using the same which we've just used before on the airport, and that is the roundabout intersection to 6. So now what I need to do is kind of align this with that road and put one here and one about here. And this might look really pupillicious, by the way, because it's going to look like very generic and boring, I guess, but mm, we need to do it. Some about here? No, it's too short. See, this is what I mean. This is like the fiddly faddly work which nobody wants to see besides me. Well, <laughs> not even me want to see this, by the way. Why can't you squeeze in? Because slope to steep. Well, this is a perfect feat. Are you kidding me? Crapper. Well, terraform. And then, no, and then. Can you squeeze in here now? Are you perfect? You know what? Doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, it does. But hey, it is kind of perfect. It's kind of like, I kind of hate how this is the same as this, this roundabout is the same as this roundabout. 
But I think it's gonna do wonders for the traffic in the city. We might even replace this with the same roundabout if this works out over here. You know what? We can always hide it away with some bushes in other states, so don't worry about it. But I think, I'm thinking, the more stuff like this you add, like on and off ramps, the better it's gonna get for the traffic in the main city in the United States. So I think this is gonna be a win-win scenario. <laughs> oh no! All the bendy people would be super happy about that, but no, oh, can't have it like that. Crap! You go down? No! Ah, oh, I. Uh, perfect. We kind of, kind of semi-nailed it, I guess. So let's just turn it. Resume the gameplay, speed it up, and see how this will work out. So now we have this space to cover up with zones. We have this space. Oh no, we did remove some over here. And look at this roundabout. There's not much traffic in it uh, at the current point, so it's really hard to tell if it's going to work better or not. But so far it seems to be working out. We're gonna see. So let's see here. What zones was here? You were residential, you were residential, you were commercial. And you know how the demand is always high for commercial zones uh, in the game? I don't think it matters that we build like this. Like, everything here is just commercial zones, right? I don't think this matters whatsoever, because I think what you need to do is place the commercial zones where they need it. Like, for example, on this side, if we just check on the on the thing here as you can see those all of those are residential buildings right and the only commercial zones are here on the outskirts so i think like if we would squeeze in some commercial zones here the demand would go down a bit but i just don't know what the demand is like honestly uh, i think i think they need to add a tab for that <laughs> i don't know <laughs> there might be one in the game but <laughs> i don't know so let's see here those guys are here those guys are gonna be building up did i remove stuff here as well oh no Oh, crappers. So let's see, what did I remove here? Was that residential zones? Yes, it was, I think. Here? I don't think we had anything here, but let's add commercial zones here on the outskirt. And then we got the death care, and everybody's happy. And what comes for the roads? We're gonna be using this one. Because I kind of love how you can see the park cars and whatnot. So let's just take this all the way out here. This is a two-way, and then we can maybe go like this on both sides, just to maximize the space we can use here and place the residential zones, because we need to squeeze in at least 6k people in this little zone, and if that's gonna happen, I don't know. Well, hope I hope, I hope it will. Something like this for the moment being, and now let's just pipe it up. Bam! Perfect, so now we got poop pipes all over the place, and now I'm thinking on the front here, we're gonna have commercial buildings, and I know this sucks because this is gonna cause noise pollution, but you know how it is in main cities, usually like the front of the street, there's commercial buildings and there's like residential on top of them, so they will just have to live with it, and the rest here is gonna be residential. Deal with it, perfect, and here on the far end you know what could we can we do we do we want could maybe squeeze in a pedestrian path just behind here some bouts like this and you sweetheart what are you you're a firehouse you know what you need to move to here <laughs> i'm sorry and then we can just tweak in a little power relay this is such an amazing thing i mean it does cost 10 bucks per week there's nothing noise pollution 10 Pop it down, and then we get power to that. So let's just take this guy. Because obviously it needs to be... Uh oh Be a guy for reasons unknown. This goes here. This connects to here. Perfect. Question is... <laughs> will they be using this or not? Look how <laughs> screwed up it looks here. But it is what it is, I guess. So let's pop down some extra bushes. Just to hide away all the ugliness. If anything looks ugly just hide it away with some bush and then nobody's gonna be seeing that it looks ugly and everybody's gonna be happy there's gonna be happy faces throughout the city perfect then i'm thinking you know how i am i'm the king of services especially death care so if we ever have a zombie apocalypse in the city don't worry we're gonna pick up the dead people 
<laughs> Perfect. So let those guys move in. Let me see. Did we zone everything we need here? Yes. And let's do something similar on this side, I guess. Let's go with a road just to about here for now. Let's take you out as well to about here. Then connect them up like this. All the way here. We just need to maximize the space we've got to work with everybody. I, that, I guess. That's going to be going underneath the highway to this side in a later stage. The same goes with this one, but then we need to destroy the highway, so I'm not going to do that at this point. You go here. You go here. Might not be as perfect as I wanted it to be, but it's, it's something. And let's use the same technique on this side, I guess. So let's have the path about here. All the way to here. Let's do the same from here all the way back here to this guy. And hopefully those guys are going to be using it. Otherwise it's going to suck. Like that. And here, for example, we could maybe, can we? Uh, maybe not. Yes, we can. Just a little pedestrian path. <laughs> well, maybe not like that. But all the way to the ground, like this. You go all the way to this guy. Perfect! If that's gonna work wonders, nobody knows. We could have him on this side as well. But you know what, let's just think about that in a later stage. Not now. Let's zone this up. So, residential or commercial zones here on the far end. The same goes for this area, I guess. So let's just pop him down here as well. Then, residential in the rest of it. Will this bring us in? 6,000 people. It's a pretty big area, I guess. So it might do. <laughs> if it doesn't, it's gonna suck. Mikey balls. But hopefully this is gonna do the trick. But then again, crappers. Do you guys need poop pipe? <laughs> Yeah, let's pipe it up. Bam! So those guys are gonna be moving in. Those guys got the pedestrian paths. Let's add one here on this side as well. And you know what? At some points, I don't really like those grindy episodes where we're just adding adding housing and whatnot. I, I love the detail episodes. But I don't know. I think we need to just do them as well. Because it's kind of like a part of the game. <laughs> Just adding stuff like this, even though it's boring and whatnot, but... And also, you know what? I've seen a lot of sad faces that I didn't make an episode in time today. And as I mentioned, you know what? Don't be sad. I, I got a family and stuff, and as I said before, it always comes first. So if wife, especially like now when she's pregnant and stuff, and she needs me, I can't just drop everything just to play a video game, even though this is my job. But if I would work in a, in a different place, I would take a sick day or something just to help out with with my son. So don't 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 go sad faces and whatnot. Perfect. So that is kind of like growing up. So you know what? Meanwhile, while this is doing their stuff, one more requested thing was here <laughs> in the poop lagoon. As you can see, all the poop coming out of, from, from the poop machine guns. <laughs> this looks so disgusting, by the way. Can you just imagine having those those normal, those default ones? Let me just see here, where are you? Those, the poop cannons. Oh, that would just look so, yeah. <laughs> but anywho, that poop is causing a lot of current. So I'm gonna try this out. Even though I hate this, I'm gonna place a dam here, the hydropower plant. And we're gonna see if this actually powers <laughs> If this is poop powered or not. Here, for example. Like this. <laughs> oh no! The poop is overflowing, everybody. Oh crap. Is this working? Well, so far it's not. Because the poop is overflowing. Let me just see here. If Will this adjust itself? Are you kidding me? The poop is actually powering it. I mean, it doesn't give us that much power now, does it? Like 16, 32 megawatts. And it does cost 3,200 3, bucks per week. So it's not really worth it now, is it? But it does work. <laughs> so the poop is actually powering it. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's amazing. 
<laughs> Let's keep it for now. I can't afford it at this moment, so you know what? I'm not gonna be bothered, but... Look how this looks! This is just so messed up. 60 megawatts. 32 megawatts. So if you want a working dam, just get a poop lagoon and at least it's gonna do, give you some power. <laughs> that is just you. <laughs> but you know what? I did grab some extra stuff as well. Let me just see here. You guys wanted skyscrapers, so I did search for skyscrapers. And what I want to place in the city is this. The Bank of China. This is a, a really tall building. And this looks really awesome. Is this the one which is in Shanghai as well? Is this on the battlefield map, Siege of Shanghai? I don't know. How can you squeeze in some about here? Oh crap, you are humongous. Stop, pause, collaborate, and listen. Dude, who are you? JK Skyscraper, you move a little bit. Uh, you move to. to about here. No, you can move here. You can move here. No, you can move here. You can move about here. Just for now, okay? You be there. You be all happy about it. Then, let's see here. How big is this again? <laughs> it's it's huge <laughs> but let's tweak some rows and i think we're gonna be able to squeeze it in any who's no regrets pop it down holy crap it's beautiful it is huge it's still not as big as the burj burj khalifa you dude you just need to move it is those small things in life you move to about here just so we don't have you in the same position as that oh that does the trick i did bring in the quinto tower how does that look oh there's a titini weeny building let's maybe not add that at this point i did bring the spinnaker tower from portsmouth in uk let's maybe place it on the no not the airport i guess here for about is that a place just to see how it looks bam Damn, it's beautiful. It kind of looks like a little sail and whatnot. It might be one, because I just don't know, I, I don't know anything about this. A power relay here, in between the highways, and that is now power connected, even though it kind of looks semi-derp. But look how small they are and tiny. What a perfect fit. I think that is a majestic looking building, whatever it is. I also grabbed this, the Shanghai World Financial Center. And this is the beer opener. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, this is going to be looking amazing. But it's so humongous as well. So you know what? We're going to poop down this in a later stage. What is that, though? The 63 square building. Not sure where this is, but let's poop it down. About here, maybe. Bam. No regrets. Damn, this looks beautiful. Just look how this area is taking shape, although this ugly building is kind of in the way at this point, but hey, it is what it is. And also, what is that? The Shanghai Tower. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, no. That is one ugly looking building. Well, maybe not ugly, but it's... No, it's just oversized. Let's get rid of that. I did grab the Bank of America somabouts. Where is you? Is that you? Bank of America Plaza. Location Dallas, Texas. It ain't big, so let's maybe... Where can I squeeze you down? Here about. Oh, here. Perfect. You know what? Bam. I just love this little area. This downtown commercial whatnot. But not commercial. Financial district. Damn, it's beautiful. And look at look at the people in this city. We almost made it, everybody. Almost 100,000 happy water pooies. Did I grab anything else when it comes to buildings? I got so much stuff here. What is that? The Colossal Order Offices. It's like default stuff from the game, which I don't really... I didn't even know we unlocked it. Servicing, servicing service offices. This is their headquarters. Requirements for building an Eden project. And that, the science center. You know what? We need to spend an episode just doing stuff like this. But damn, this looks nice. Hopefully you guys think so as well, because I'm loving it. And look at those happy people moving in. <laughs> Almost 100,000 water police. 
<laughs> what are you guys missing, by the way? Let's just bring up this happiness. <laughs> well, that's one. No, he's happy now. <gasps> oh, that's perfect. Do you get, for example, do you get healthcare? Yes, you do. Do you get death care? No, you get death care, I'm sorry. Healthcare, perfect. Fire uh, ain't so good looking, I guess. So let's just put down one just for now. Uh, one of the small ones. This is the default one from the game. So let's just do this for now. Let's just put down a police station. Just because we're kind of the king of services. And that's going to bring in so many happy faces in the horizon. So that's just perfect. We've made it. We didn't really unlock anything for it. But we have over 100,000 happy water pooies in the city at the current point. It does look nice. And uh, it's bushes. Nobody can hate bushes. Well, maybe some people can. Like, I'm allergic to bushes, too, to be honest. But I still love them because I just think they look so pretty. And I could use the, what you're gonna call it, the brush here. But it ain't as precise as this, for example. So if we just do this... Just gonna be perfect win and this is a little bit of tight uh, squeeze and problem for example now that we have the roads here going like that trash collection is not as good but as you can see that guy came and picked it up amazing one more thing i kind of want to do in this episode is let me just see here trains we love trains what i want to do is let me just see here for example from this guy here if I do create new line and then go, can I go to this line? Which way does it take? It takes the outside lane and goes into this. So let's do that. Let's add stop here and then go to the air. No, you know what? We don't have any from the airport. So let's go from this guy to the farm district. And that's kind of like a short way. And then go to the new airport, which is about here. Which way does it take? It takes... Let me see. It goes through here. goes out here. goes into that and into this. Perfect. Add stop. Go back. Loop to this guy. Loop back to the airport. Complete line. And it's going to be yellow. And that's going to be perfect. I think. You know what? Bam. Bam. You know what, everybody? This is going to be one of those derpy episodes again. But what we did, we made it past 100,000 water pulleys. It's not a big step, I guess. But it made me happy, at least. And, oh, this is the industrial district. Oh, I really want to see how we go through the, the farm district. And as I said before, guys, I'm truly sorry if some of the episodes are delayed and whatnot. Look at it, the farm district, this is beautiful, but family first, so you just have to understand. Oh, you can hear the cows and whatnot. This is majestic. Oh, look at this. Not much of a city tour, but it's a landscape tour at least. So let's see if this works out. Are you guys gonna go in here now? Oh yes, you do. And let's see how the new train station looks, by the way. <laughs> this game. Oh, it is absolutely glorious. Everybody, I'm sorry. Thank you so, so much for watching. What are you complaining about, honey? <laughs> well, yeah, it's kind of like a shitty location, I guess, but <laughs> this guy has it worse. <laughs> Can you just imagine? That's going to be his toilet or, or whatnot. <laughs> just on the highway. I love it. So, we made a little bit of progress, I guess. The crematorium is on fire. Well, go figure. They're burning dead people, so let it just burn. But, uh-oh. Stop. Pause, club, and listen. What is wrong here? Are we doing so bad on the power? <gasps> oh no. You know what? Before we end, let's just, just for now. I don't think we can squeeze in anything in here now. Can we? No. So let's just put one down about here. Like here. One here. One here. 
Then we got three extra ones, so that should be plenty of power. Please? Maybe? No? What is going on? There we go. Phew! We saved the day. 102,000 people living here. We got the, the Marina Bay Resort. That looks beautiful. The financial district is absolutely thriving. This road here, though. Kerala, say goodbyes. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I kind of need to... I think what this is going to be doing is going to be kind of like looping on, on the riverbank soundbouts. Just to look pretty. Like this, for example. And I think that's going to look really cool. Then we can connect those roads into this guy as well. So let me just do that quickly. Like this. This connects to that. And now those are connected up. So this road here is going to be going all the way here. And then we can add more uh, things of an, on this side and what I said before by the way is that I wouldn't have any skyscrapers on this side but what I'm thinking we might take him out all the way here all the way here about then we're gonna have a farm district here and then we're gonna have sub suburbs over here and it's gonna be small I don't care about skyscrapers that much I kind of want to have just the suburbs and then just having a main city in the distance because I think that looks Really cool. This is a pure win. Let me know what this building does or is, I mean. Spinnaker Tower. You look pimp. I love it. Anywho, anyhow, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that it's pretty late with this episode, but it is what it is. We've made some progress. We have. You know what the thing is? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just rambling about. I've said this before. You set out to do so much in an episode, but then the time just goes, that just flies by. So you don't really do that much. But it seems like you're doing tons. In the next episode, we might take a little ride with... with cars around the city, because I, I saw some comments about that, that I should be just going into first person on the cars and then just going about the city. So that is something we might do as well in the next episode, guys. If you want to do that, we can do that. Because I think this is pretty cool, how you see the city from this angle. And then just driving about. Look at the airplanes. It's just nuts. Much love. Stay awesome, everybody. And see you guys in the next episode of City Skylines. Oh, Def. Oh, Ikea. Meatballs. It's a lot of hot dog vans here. Crappers? I kind of forgot. I'm sorry, I'm back. Hey, we need a name for this financial district. I have zoned it out, and this is the size of it. It's called Fortin Square at this point. It doesn't fit the theme. So you guys just spam away in the comment section. We need a new name. Stay awesome, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, hide the like button if you did enjoy, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye-bye.